Welcome to Excel Formula Efficiency Series number six. Hey, this is a series where we learn how to build fast calculating formulas for big spreadsheets. And if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Formula Efficiency Series. Hey, in this number six, we want to see an alternative to a database, sum product, sum array, and sum ifs. All these formulas we've seen so far. And they each got successively faster. Sum, pro, uh, sum array was the slowest. This was the second slowest. Uh, this was pretty amazingly fast. Uh, but this one, sum ifs, was the fastest. This is the uh, D sum. We're going to see an alternative. And this will uh, definitely speed things up in earlier versions. It uh, will turn out that it will be just about as fast as sum ifs. But what we have here is three criteria. And if we look at a formula like sum products, that means we're looking through huge chunks, 19,000 rows, three different times for three criteria. Well, what if we just add in an extra column and did concatenation? So we could create another field here and say this, ampersand, this, ampersand, this, and copy it down. Then we would have a field we could search that would give us a unique record every time with these three match our criteria. So let's see how to do this. We're going to do equals. Click on this field right here. And then we need to do ampersand, shift 7. And I'm going to use double quote dash double quote and then ampersand. You could put whatever you want there or it even work without it. And then I'm going to click here. I'm actually going to copy this right here, control C, control V, and then click on this one right here. Control Enter. Now we can double click and send it down. I'm going to double click this here and make it wide enough. Wow, so that's pretty wide. Now let's go over and see how what kind of formula we could build with that extra column here. Make this a little bit bigger here. Actually blow this up a bunch so we can see this formula. There's our three criteria up there. You ready? We're going to say equals sum if. Because get this, even though we have three criteria, sales rep, customer, product, right? We have three criteria. We only need one uh, column and one uh, combined criteria, our concatenation. So we can use sum if, which handles just one condition. So our range and then criteria, that's the criteria range and criteria, and then we need our sum range. So come over here, click at the top, control shift down arrow. This is our concatenated column, F4 to lock it and jump the screen back in view. Now we have to type a comma, and this is the tricky part, our criteria. Well, there's the first one, and guess what? I already have loaded in my clipboard so I can control V, that same little construct we used over there for our column. Click there, control V, click there. So we have our criteria right here. All we need is our sum range, comma, and then we're going to go over and get our sum range, which is our sales. Click in the top cell, control shift down arrow. F4. Now let's look at this. I'll put a close parenthesis. And if I put my cursor right there, I can see that's the range. Put my cursor right there, that's the criteria. And finally, we have our sum range. Enter. Now, what in the world if you wanted to search a whole column? What if you, we only had uh, two? Or you ha let's, in this example, we only have three total. So we'll do two here. Well, let's, um, I'm going to scoop this out right here. Control C, escape. Click right here and control uh, F2 and control V. Now, um, notice up here we have our uh, our criteria cells, and we don't want those there. So watch this. We're going to right here for this first one, since down here there's nothing. We're going to double click this, and in quotes we're going to put. Asterisk. So asterisk in quote means any text. And then this one, we'll double click that and we'll click on Fred Meyer. And then we'll double click that one and click on Carlo. Even though they're the same, I want to keep this row of criteria together. So that's a way to do the same trick when one of them is supposed to be all, in essence, no criteria. So now we hit uh, Enter. 
And if I come up here, you can see we did this one with the database uh, over here and got the same number. So there it is. Uh, however, let's time it and see if that concatenated column is uh, faster than any of these other methods. I don't think it's going to be faster than some ifs, but we'll try it here. Now, uh, how do we time it? Well, back in uh, trick number two in this series, we showed you um, showed you how to get the uh, code from the white paper and insert this button. But once you create this button, you don't have to keep creating it. You can just come over here and right click it and say copy and then we'll paste it wherever else we want. We want it in number six, so I'm going to click right there and control V. Now I'm going to click in this cell right here and click time formula. So 0 .0034. 0 0.0034. That's pretty fast. Let's compare it to our database. 0 .0038. 0 .0038. Let's do our sum ifs. Ooh, so the sum ifs is still faster. 0 0.0026. Point, uh, 0 0.0026. Let's do one more here. Time the formula. 0 0.029. So 0 0.0029. I think it was 0 0.0029, right? Yeah. So that's pretty fast. It's almost as fast as uh, the sum if. That's with a uh, concatenated column. All right. Um, and by the way, um, most of the tricks in this series uh, are from the uh, white paper. And if you download this and look at the notes, there's uh, links to that white paper. But this particular trick came from Don Quixote at the Mr. Excel message board. And there's the link if you want to go read that uh, that string there. All right, we'll see you next trick.